Hello everyone, my name is Will Ezel, the CTO of .CMS. Today I'm here to demonstrate two of the many new features that are found in .CMS 1.9, our biggest release to date. The first feature that I'd like to demonstrate are custom field types. This feature allows you to add custom fields that can be included in any content type and can be populated through AJAX or JavaScript that you include in the custom field code. The second feature I'd like to show is the ability to create URL, custom URL mappings that will map a specific URL to a specific piece of content. Um, this will use Lucene to map the URL to a piece of content and allow that content to be displayed in context based upon the URL that's passed in. Finally, I'd like to show how these features together can help you create SEO-friendly news and content-driven pages within .CMS. Let's get started. Seven, there was already a rich array of fields that could be added to your content types. Fields like WYSIWYG fields, multi-selects, files, checkboxes, etc. In .CMS 1.9, we've also added two new types. The first being the custom field, which I'm going to talk about today, and the second is the binary field, which is uh, for another uh, webinar. To add a custom field to a content type, just browse your structures, and I click on structures here, and find the, the content type you want to add the custom field to, in this case, news items. From this page, looking at this structure, you can see the different fields that news items have. I'm going to go ahead and add a new field, select custom field, and we are ready to go. The next step is to code your custom field. Um, what we're doing today is creating a field called URL title. Um, in this, I'm going to take the headline of the news item and parse it and make it URL friendly. Um, custom field code is really just Velocity, HTML, and or JavaScript. Uh, you can import JavaScript libraries as you need them, um, external libraries. Um, you could call Ajax to external systems and pull in values if you wanted to store them in the content repository. All of that's possible. This JavaScript file, um, what I'm doing is I'm getting the value from headline, which is another field in our content type. I'm stripping that value of all non-alphanumeric um, characters and replacing them with dashes, and then I'm setting the value of my custom field URL title to uh, the value that, I, that I've come up with. All right, back to my custom field. What I do is I create my custom field. I'm going to name it URL title. Okay, that's the field label. For the value, I cut and paste my JavaScript into uh, the field value. What will happen is when the edit content form is rendered, um, the JavaScript will be rendered inline and will fire. So the edit content form will automatically create a hidden field in the background with the ID of the field variable. And in this case, it's going to be URL title. And I store my custom value in that field. All of these other values um, apply. I can have a default value for my field. I can make it required, searchable, indexed. Um, I can show it in the listing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it searchable, show it in the listing, and index it. After hitting save, I'm taken back to the edit structure screen where I'm looking at my news item structure. Here you can see my new custom field with the variable URL title. That's the variable I reference in JavaScript to set that. I'm going to go ahead and move this up um, underneath. Uh, actually, I'm going to move it up underneath the headline. Um, I'm going to save the structure and come over to my content search and edit content tab. Now you can see that my content search has a new field in it, URL title. In my listing, I have a new column, URL title. I don't have any URL titles. It hasn't been set. It hasn't been fired. But if I go ahead and click into um, a news item, you can see the value of the URL title get set, my JavaScript fired, my value is placed here. This is, this is just a, uh, a div that I'm, I'm writing that into, but I've set the hidden field with that value, and I can go ahead, hit Save and Publish, and you can see now that my URL title for that particular piece of content is set. The second feature that I'd like to demonstrate is, is what we call URL mapping. URL mapping allows you to specify a URL pattern that can match content within a content structure for display on a page. It allows you to automatically generate URLs, um, SEO-friendly URLs, such as 
forward slash news forward slash government down to its last hundred dollars or forward slash news forward slash whoops everyone owes everyone just by adding the appropriate content to the content repository. We've had, had a limited version of this feature in .cms 1.7 and you can see its use on our current documentation site um, but in .cms 1.9 we've really expanded its scope and exposed it to the user interface. It's much more powerful and easier to use. The way to set up a URL map is easy. What you do is you browse to the Structures tab in the CMS and select the structure that you would like to map to a URL. Now I'm going to select News Item. The thing you do is select the detail page the, that the content will be displayed in. Now this is the page in the CMS that when the user hits a URL mapped URL they're going to be taken to this page with the content inside this page. So in our case I'm going to go ahead and use the news detail page. Uh, you just got a glimpse of our new file browser. Um, the third thing you do is you pick a pattern that you want to use to map to the URL. Um, this pattern can be arbitrary. You can, you can make a URL map to any URL in the system um, or outside the system even. You can type in, for example, I'm going to go ahead and type in news forward slash and then I'm putting in here a variable, URL title. And what this variable is, this is the variable of the field that I want to use to match, um, to pull the particular piece of content to display on the page. You, uh, you, can, you can use one variable. If you want to use a more complex pattern, you could use two variables. Let's say you wanted to sort by, you know, publish date, for example, or publish year, forward slash URL title. Um, the pattern would look for both publish year and URL title, match the particular piece of content, and display it um, on the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the URL title here and save that structure in our process is to make sure that the news detail page that we're pointing to um, has the ability to pull the content appropriately and display it as you want it displayed. Um, what we're looking at here is a velocity, a VTL file, very simple velocity file. Um, and what .cms does now is if the URL map matches and matches a particular piece of content, it will automatically set for you in your template this variable, URL map content. This is the content object that's been matched um, by the URL map. And all you have to do now to, to display it is to check to make sure that that has been set. If it's been set, um, all you have to do, you can say, I'm going to show the headline here. I'm going to show the published date here. If there's an associated image, I'm going to show it there. If there is um, content in the body, I'm going to show it there putting it all together. The final step, we need to add that velocity code to the detail page for our URL map. Um, the way you do that, you browse to the page, let's go ahead and create a new widget, and let's create a simple widget and call it um, news detail URL map. And I'm going to cut and paste the code that we created to pull the URL map content and display that. Go ahead, save and publish that for display on the page. Next step is to make sure that we've mapped our URLs correctly. Um, you can see here I have two news items. Um, Fiat shuts down all its plants and the government down to its last hundred dollars. I'm going to cut that, open a new browser, and test our URL map. So I go forward slash news, forward slash government down to its last hundred dollars. And there's our content. Um, if I try the fiat story, you can see I can cut and paste that. And it's going to display the appropriate content. So that's all we have today. Talked about how to create a custom field, how to map that field to a URL, and have seen it in action. Believe it or not, custom fields and URL mappings are two smaller, though really cool features that are included in .CMS 1.9. I firmly believe that .CMS 1.9 is going to be the most powerful open source web content management solution in the world. That's a big statement. We're working very hard to make it true. I appreciate your time and thank you very much.